Welcome to episode number 69, and in today's episode, we are getting into two very particular words in our language. Two particular words that we have to get right, because if we use it wrong, well, it can kind of screw things up. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's get into it. So the big question is how do ambitious people like us who grew up listening to the old advice of go to school, work hard for 40 years and retire when you're old, create a life today that is meaningful, abundant, healthy and brings joy while also leading a life that is productive and full of achievement? That is the question and this is the podcast that will help give you the answers that you're searching for. My name is Del Denny and welcome to the Upgrade Your Life podcast. Hey, Delden here, and again, welcome to the Upgrade Your Life podcast, and I want to talk about two very, very powerful words, and those words are I am, I am, and uh, you know, when I was, this has always been on my mind a little bit, now I used to be a pretty religious person, I think of myself more of a a spiritual person now, but uh, you know, in the Bible, uh, Jesus says, I am the great I am. And that phrase always kind of made me think a little bit. Now, this podcast isn't about uh, being religious. Uh, I could touch on the spiritual, uh, but I wanted to talk about those two words, I am. They're very, very powerful statements. Uh, they're powerful for good, or they, they could be powerful in a negative aspect, too. And so, really, it's what precedes the words I am that makes it important. So, if I say that I am a bad cook... Well, guess what? I'm going to be a bad cook. If, if I say I am bad at math, I'm going to be bad at math. If I am a, a horrible driver, I'm going to be a horrible driver. You kind of get the point. It goes along with that Henry Ford statement of uh, if a person thinks he can or can't, he's absolutely right. And that's what that statement is. I am fill in the blank. <clears throat> And so when we use self-talk, we have to be careful about the statements that we put out there uh, in the universe, out in the air. You know, I am, uh, I am poor. I am uh, not good at this. I am. You got to be careful about those statements. And we have to replace it with I am uh, a money magnet. I am grateful. I am blessed. I am whatever it is to put in the current statement. So uh, a current phrase. You don't want to say, you know, one day I will be rich. Well, one day will never come. It's I am rich. Uh, One day I will be happy. Well, that's off in the distance. How about I am happy? One day, you know, we don't want to do that. So we want to put it in the I am phrases in a current state. And so when we do that, we're able to uh, change the way that we think about things. Just a little change of frame. Now, for example... You know, we can say, I am grateful, I am love, uh, I am whole, I am grounded, I am adventurous, I am am happy, I am nourished, um, I'm fulfilled, I'm extraordinary, I'm I'm great. Uh, These are all phrases that we can use to really put ourselves in a better mindset. And these are called affirmations. And I, I learned about affirmations really early on in my personal development career. And there's different times that you can use affirmations. Now, a great time to use affirmations is in the morning when you're getting ready. Uh, this is a great time to you know, have your statements ready to go. Uh, it could be while you're exercising. It could be um, when you're going to sleep. It could be when you're meditating. These are great times to do it. Now, there's a few different ways that you can do that. Um, you can either go on like Spotify or uh, other podcasts, and you can listen to, uh, just type in affirmations. And there's a lot of people that have already got some really good affirmations out there. All you have to do is just listen to those and close your eyes and and you, you know, you just listen to those words and it just, it programs your mind uh, for positivity. Now there's another thing that you can do too, is that you can make your own affirmation list. And again, using current states, you can you can put in everything that you want to be. So if you want to be happy, just type, just put in I am happy and just make a, a big long list, maybe 20 affirmations. It could be 30 affirmations, whatever you want to do. 
And you can do a few different things with this. You can either uh, read these out loud in the morning, which I highly recommend. Or another thing that you can do is you can record it uh, on your phone. You can record it as a voice memo, memo and you can play it back uh, whenever you like. You can play it back while you're getting ready and you're brushing your teeth. You could play it back uh, when you're meditating. You can create your own track, so to speak, of affirmations that are important to you. So these are some good ideas to use uh, to help with positivity and really putting yourself in the right uh, framework mentally uh, to get the job done, to be happier, to uh, be more abundant. And all the things that we want as we reach our full potential, it really starts with our mind. That's, that's where this all starts at, is with our mind. You know, success, happiness, uh, achievement, it all starts with your mind. And the way that we get the right mindset is with affirmation. So the two most powerful words that we can use is I am. And it's also as a warning is it also can be dangerous too, because you have to be careful what follows I am. So make sure it's positive and make sure it's in the current state. Never say anything negative about yourself or you're programming yourself for negativity and for failure. So be careful with that. So that's it, my friends. So I'm going to challenge you to, uh, Go out there and Google some affirmations, uh, listen to some affirmations, you know, meditate five, 10 minutes, listen to some positive affirmations, uh, or if you want to take it to a next level, make your own affirmations, uh, write it out on a piece of paper or even record it, listen to yourself. So that's it. That's it for today. Remember, learn, lead and live to your full potential. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you've enjoyed this episode, please share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the show on iTunes to get automatic episode updates for the Upgrade Your Life podcast. And finally, please take a minute to leave us an honest review and rating on iTunes. Your feedback really helps us out when it comes to the ranking of the show. And I make it a point to read every single one of the reviews that we get. So thanks for listening. Thanks for joining me on the Upgrade Your Life podcast. Have a great day.